People always ask, what is it that makes pay payroll so easy to use? In two previous videos, I showed you how to do time entry and complete a payroll run. And then we went back and looked at how to control the entries that have been made and also to modify or override any calculated values, whether they were government or company deduction values or benefits or whatever pay code amounts needed to be modified or controlled. In this video, I'd like to show you how to examine the results and determine whether changes need to be made or not. In order to do that, let's go back to batches. I still have that batch. We're looking at the first person in the batch, Beetle Bailey, and we've already calculated his payroll. We can see that it's down here. The net pay amount is shown and the government and company deduction values are all listed here as well. So there are actually three different ways of looking at payroll. And this, I think, would be the standard way, which is a list of wages, benefits, accruals, if there are any deductions, and government deductions. But Another important way to look at a payroll is to look at its journal entry and you can do that at any time inside of a pay card in Paydirt Payroll just by clicking the F8 button on your keyboard or clicking the button on screen here and we'll be able to look at the journal entry that's asso associated with this. And here we can see the breakdown of this payroll in its accounting form and that is the total of the wages and then the expense portion of CPP, which of course matches the deduction portion, the expense portion of EI, which for this company is 1.4 times their employees' deductions, and then any expenses for WCB or WSIB, if that's how you term it, and also in this scenario, this expense for pension. And you notice that the credit values are listed above that with the garnishee calculation payable and the pension payable and in this sample data the receiver general amount is all being accumulated in one account and in your scenario it might be broken out into CPP, EI and tax payable but it's listed in the sample data in just one account and then the WCB payable amount and the net pay amount is listed here. So that's the second way of looking at things. It gives you a chance to examine your results in, a, in accounting terms and assure yourself that you're actually calculating things properly and determine if changes need to be made or not. Another way of looking at things can be viewed by clicking on the F7 button which is what we call a proofing sheet or pay stub view. So when we click that button we get a report listing and the top half of that is the grid that we just did our entry in. So you can see that these are the wages for this employee including uh, their salary and all their benefits and deductions and so on. But the bottom half of this document is actually the employee's pay stub. And if we take a look at this we'll see that all the wages, and in, in this case there's only the one which is the salary wage, and is, are listed at the top left and then benefits are listed in the middle and company deductions to the uh, or just below that and then to the right of all of that we have summary breakdown with year-to-date numbers. In fact we see both year-to-date and current numbers listed for all pay codes that impact the employees pay. So in the far right column we see CPP deductions, EI deductions and tax deductions for the current and the year-to-date number and then below that we see subtotals for the wages for deductions, for government, and then net pay amounts. So that gives us another way of looking at things to assure ourselves that payroll has been calculated correctly for each and every employee. And if changes need to be made, it'll be obvious when we look at these three different methods. Um, if we make a change, for example, if we add a pay code here, and um, for example, uh, a shift differential pay code, and put in some values here. When we, when we preview the proofing sheet again, we'll see that that pay code is automatically added to the employee's pay stub. And its current year-to-date values will be listed for us. And the rate will also be listed 
and it'll be added again to the right hand side in the summary section for wages and the program will manage all of that for you automatically so that gives you three different ways to look at payroll the standard way the journal entry way and the pay stub method and allows you to check and verify everything before you actually complete your entire payroll great i hope that helps you understand how our payroll makes life easier for payroll users and uh, we hope to see you again thanks